Hello hopefuls and thanks so much for coming back to my channel today. I want to share with you a large grocery Aldi haul. My budget was $200. I think I hit, I have to look at my receipt. Yeah, I think it was like $200 and some change. I wish it was $2. And I don't, I haven't really went to the grocery store. I have went to the grocery store. I had to go to the grocery store. But I have not did a haul, a big haul this entire month. I don't believe, guys. I have to go back and look. But maybe the last time I did post a haul, it might have been in February, but it was January's haul. So anyway, we needed to stock up on a lot of things because I still need to go to Walmart. Let's get started with this haul. Okay, so over here I picked up some Top Ramen. Josiah is loving this, but I don't like him eating a whole lot of it. So I have to make sure that he's drinking plenty of water and I have to space it out. But he's loving that. And I don't remember all the prices. Guys, it seems like Aldi went up in some things. Some of the things when I was looking today. But I didn't really pay attention to a lot of the prices. I haven't forgot about the price sheet, guys. Sorry, I'm taking so long with that. Okay, so I picked up some of the toaster tarts, the frosted strawberry. It's a dollar and nine cents for these, and the frosted brown sugar. I picked up two of the crushed tomatoes, they're 65 cents, and the dill pickles, they're like 109. So I've been liking to eat these like as a snack if I feel like I need something crunchy or something to eat um, late at night. Okay, so I also picked up, because I'm a night owl, I picked up some diced tomatoes. They were $0.35 cents with the basil, garlic, and oregano. The other crushed tomatoes. The Fit and Active, last time we got these, we stocked up, they were like $1.09 or a little over a dollar. These were $1.65, so I don't know why they were so high today. I got one of the lemonade and two of the fruit punch. Some light sour cream. I picked up two of the coffee like K cups, the donut store. These are $3.99. And Jason likes the caramel cappuccino. I do want to pick up some in at Walmart. So guys, let me know what are your what is your favorite coffee so I can try it. Mama says she does not she's like a coffee connoisseur. So she is really particular about her coffee stuff. <laughs> And I just want to know what is good at Walmart or if it's a name brand or something. Because I can tell this is not the best. But I just get it because I don't drink it all the time. Okay. So I picked up. I needed some more seasonings to stock up. Some Italian seasonings. Some oregano. Some onion powder. Minced onion. And I finally remembered to get some lemon pepper. And these are all 99 cents or a dollar. Aldi started selling this to Texas tailgate chili sauce. It's 65 cents. They do have like one in a bigger can that's like a dollar and something. It's actually cheaper to get the chili Walmart brand at Walmart. But I got it in there. And then I got some strawberry apple sauce. Some organic thick and chunky salsa. Some oven ready lasagna. Um, some movie theater popcorn. Moo tubes, they're like 165. The Kerry Gold is 285. The California raisins are 285. And I needed some more of the chive and onion, cream cheese spread, some crinkle cut potatoes. I also picked up the great big bag of mozzarella, and this was 499. This is the two pound bag and the taco style shredded cheese 199 some Clancy sour cream and onion chips and I also got which are 89 cents some taco seasoning these are like 30 35 to 39 cents I think it's 35 cents the flour tortillas they're like a dollar and I got two of these I also got some pork sausage and then which was one I think it's 169 and the medium cooked shrimp, I saw where they changed their packaging on a lot of them. And I, it was so cold, I didn't feel like leaving the door open. So, I was looking for the large and I did not see large. This was um, $4.99. So, I have to look a little bit harder next time. I didn't see any 
large. Um, I was even looking at the label, so prefer that. And then I got some 2% reduced fat shredded cheese, $1.99. The broccoli florets, $1.09. The maple flour flavored pork sausage patty, so the boys can just go ahead and make their own um, breakfast. Trails coming home from sp for spring break, and that's $5.99. The Italian hot sausage is $2.99 and I didn't get a full bag since I got two bags of grapes. I didn't get a full bag of grapes. I don't remember how much they are per pound guys. I'm sorry. And then the bacon pieces was $1.29. I went ahead and got two of the peanut butter filled cookies. They're like the ones with the Girl Scouts because there are only like three rows if you ever had these and I think it's like five on each row or six or something like that and Josiah loves them of course everybody in the house loves them so I got two they're 95 cents and then JJ loves the caramel coconut fudge cookies I think they're like 129 yes when I help you <laughs> you heard me say peanut butter cookies oh my goodness he called them chocolate cookies and then the tomatoes on a vine. I got these guys. I don't remember how much they were today. And then the red delicious apples. They were $3.99. And then I'm going to make um, stuffed peppers. So I picked up two of these. And these are quite pricey. So they must not be in season right now. They're like one, almost $2. And then I got some strawberries. And these are $169 and they had like a sign up saying due to freezing or something that it was only a, a limit of two that you could get. I just picked up one of the orange juice and then I picked up some paper plates. Um, I did pick up some cola. This cola is like $0.65. Cents. So what I've been doing, I need to just start with the soda guys. But I love the really skinny cans of the Diet Coke, the Festi Cherry, the new ones they have out. Um, I think Mama said the Blueberry Ikea, Lord have mercy, I'm saying it wrong. Is it Ikea Berry? She said it's really good. I did try the Strawberry Java. Um, that's good, but it's weird to me why it's not pink or red why is the strawberry why is the cola brown so that's what i'm like this is supposed to be strawberry but why but it's okay i haven't tried i like the ginger mama loves the ginger the tall slender diet coke cans but i haven't tried the orange is it the mango guys i don't remember but anyway um i did pick up so i've been getting this and just getting like one cup of it instead of like a whole bottle so I picked up the 1% low fat chocolate milk, some spring mix, which I have to do a salad prep of this. I picked up two of the eggs. They were 158, a limit of two. I don't know why. And I thought it cracked, but it must have got wet somehow because it's not cracked. Or is it? Oh, it is cracked. Ugh. Okay, I must have checked the wrong side earlier. Okay, so then I picked up some onions and red they were kind of pricey it was like 160 i want to say and these were like usually i'm used to these being a dollar but they were more than a dollar it's like 120 something i picked up some peaches some spinach some greens trio i cooked this the other day in my um kasori's like an instapot and one bag is not enough I love, I could sit and eat greens and that's it. So one is not enough because we like ate that up in one day and I'm used to having greens for leftovers. These are $2.99 or $2.49, something like that. Then I picked up some cilantro and then we probably have tacos tomorrow because it's quick and easy because these are about to go bad. And I was going to make a taco salad, which I am still may instead of just tacos. Or I have a salad and they have whatever. But um, another lady, she had her cane and she was helping. We were both shorties and we couldn't reach it. And um, the box in front was like about to go bad. This box was about to go bad. A lot of the stuff went Aldi today, even like the onions. I had to like really search. The stuff looked like it was about to go bad. But anyway, and this cabbage was really small. All of them were small. Um, this was like 135 and then I got some green apples, Josiah and I like the green, some oranges, 
I'm going to prep this and put it in a big old container and cut it up. Because I just, I wanted some fresh vegetables and fruit. And then I picked up two of the ground beef 80-20. The large thing of the ground turkey, $5.99. The center cut pork chops. I just got this little thing of it. Um, I picked this up earlier this week when I went in Aldi just to get a couple of things. Um, I think I got the Greens Trio and this. And I made barbecue chicken and I'll, it's a little quick video, a budget meal. 69 cent, guys. I love getting this. I forgot to film it like this. This was only $3.11 when I got it the other day. It was like $2 and something. And I used to love to get this all the time. Even at Walmart, it's cheap. But even if it's like 99 cents a pound, but um, of course, because it's dark meat, but the drumsticks pour some barbecue sauce, Italian dressing on it, some hot wing sauce from the Dollar Tree, or just season it and bake it, put it in the air fryer, put it in the oven, whatever. I put it in my cassori the other day with barbecue sauce, and they liked it. Um, they we kind of like it tacky, we don't like it like loose, but um, they still liked it, it fell off the bone. So, I love that's a staple of a budget meal. The cucumbers, they weren't too, these are some small ones. I got some, they were 49 cents. Some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. They were, I think it was $5.99, guys. I think it's the tenderloins that are cheaper for $4.99. Some tilapia, it was $5 and something. The ground beef patties. I don't buy this a whole lot. You only get four in them. But Jason really liked it. It was one day we were staying up late. I know that was so fat. But we stayed up later until it digest. And we were staying up late. Because I, of course, am like on his schedule. He's on a crazy schedule. And then I'm a night owl. So I came downstairs and I made him these beef patties. And I had, do not make patties on top of the stove. Like when you put them in the pan. And it seemed like they taste so much better that way. But I hate all the grease and stuff popping. And he loved that. And he, I put lettuce, tomato on it. I don't think I put bacon. Um, some cheese. I had like the deli cheese. And he just loved that so much. And I was like, I didn't think I could make my way to your heart <laughs> through food anymore. I just cook. But he loved it so much. I think I got one. We used that skinny, that skinny bread. The little round bread, guys. The whole wheat, and he just loved that, and he, his greed self, he ate, I think he ate all three. Okay, so I don't get that a whole lot, because I have to get two of them for my family. Okay, so then, this week is a special buy the Bruce bagels. What you waiting for, cuz? Hmm. The Bruce Bruce bagels. So I couldn't wait to try this. The cat, the carbs is terrible. Let's see, 49 grams of carbs for one bagel. But I want to try it. They also had like these swirl dessert things that were like chocolate chip and vanilla. But I didn't get them. I left them there. And then I got some bananas, some restaurant style tortilla chips. And then I got three of the honey wheat bread. Hmm. Yeah. You gonna eat your vegetables? Uh -huh. Sai is eating, y'all. He's eating, eating, eating. Sai will have just a couple of things that he will eat. Of course, he likes tacos and stuff like that. But he was really picky, and, and I, I told like him. Bananas too. You like bananas? Mm -hmm. Good. And I like lettuce, and I like. Them. Yeah, you like lettuce. I like these. You don't like onions? That's onions. What you thought it was? Oranges? Uh -huh. Oh, I got some oranges. I like oranges. Mm-hmm. Why are you shirt on backwards? And I like this. Yeah, you like cabbage? Like this. So he's eating, y'all. He's eating, and I'm so glad he's eating. I told him, I said, don't you want to be big and strong, which I said before. Like Daddy and um, Cottrell and JJ, and he just started eating, and I was so glad. I think one night we had, like, hamburger steak with gravy and, um, what do we have, broccoli? I don't remember, guys. With some rice or something, he ate that. So I had to tell him it's like meatballs, so he'll eat it. And then he ate his barbecue chicken the other night, and then he ate um, something else I cooked. 
and I was so happy, so happy. Over and for this part, because I keep butchering this word, but it is brioche baguette, and it's gonna be a little muffled too because I'm not using my mic, but brioche. And most of my kids, guys, they were picky. I think JJ was picky, but Sai was even worse. And they only ate a couple things, so I would have been really, really, really um, worried about it if I didn't have older kids that already went through the same thing, that ate the same thing over and over and over. But anyway, I the only non-food thing that I got this trip or in a while is the Crofton Bread and Dip Set. And this actually came out last week, so today is... Thursday the 28th so it was last Wednesday they were $9.99 and I thought this would be so neat or I just thought it was neat <laughs> and so to it so it has where you can serve the bread I always need some type of bread for my family so I thought this was would be neat so then they also have the dip and then oh it comes with the it comes with a board it comes with a board because I was about to buy something else and a cover. So let me open this up and show you guys. Okay, y'all. So it is not ceramic. I thought it was ceramic. I didn't read the directions or not directions. I didn't read the box at all. But it's dishwasher safe. It's a bamboo cutting board and you have to hand wash it only. It's melamine. Yeah. Okay, so you can use this as a lid, as you see. So I'm glad because I was about to purchase, it was like a slate, a piece of slate um, cutting. It wasn't a cutting board. It was just a slate tray. And you can write on it and put, I think it was like a couple weeks ago, but it was something else that I wanted as far as bread. And I don't remember what it was, but it was all gone. So I wish this was. Oh, I thought it was ceramic though, but it's okay. So you put your bread in there. And then here's your little dipping tray. And I thought this was deeper. Because in the picture, it looks like it's deeper, but it's okay. So it's like cheese, some garlic. Like some garlic and some basil. Or some, I don't know, pesto or something. And they have crackers on one side and then it has bread on the other and then you can put your cheese on here so you don't have to have it all together you can have it you don't have to live use it as a lid you can put it right here on the side so that's me because that's exactly what I wanted because I think I wanted it for cheese I don't remember what they had a couple weeks ago and I missed out on it because I kept waiting but that's it guys this was $9.99 I wish it I should have known it wasn't um it wasn't ceramic because it wasn't that heavy. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Sorry this was super long. Also, guys, down in the comments, last month I got a kick out of seeing what your grocery budgets were and so forth. But I wanted to ask you guys what type of videos would you like to see from me. Make sure that you read all of the requirements for the giveaway. So this video is a giveaway for the $25 for February. $25 Aldi gift card. Heather Rondi, she won last month. And you guys, make sure you follow the directions. And uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram or Facebook. And then I have to contact you by Instagram or Facebook to verify that it's you. Because I did have somebody that tried to pull the okie doke on me. And I ain't going to even get. I ain't even going to get on that. But, um... Yeah, you have to be on Facebook or Instagram and you have to contact me by that by that way or I'll contact you. So let me know what your Facebook or your Instagram name is and all of the other requirements down below. And make sure you comment and just let me know what type of videos that you would like to see from me that or your favorite or that you like to see from me. So thanks so much for watching. Sorry so long, sorry so chatty, but this is the only probably grocery haul I think this whole month. So thanks so much for watching guys, bye bye.